Hey guys, and welcome back to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and this is episode 3 of Let's Play Broken Sword 5 The Serpent's Curse. In the previous episode, Nico turned up. So, um, yeah, we're going to try and get him distracted. So, we're still Nico, we've got to distract this guy. We'll distract this guy so that he can get in this, in this um, door. Inspector Nave, do you have a moment? Hello? He doesn't? Yes, he does. My time is of the essence. Be quick now. Okay. Talk. I suppose this is quite on, a George. complex case, Inspector. It is a robbery gone bad. Nothing more, nothing less. Surely there's a bit more to it than that. Please abstain from baseless conjecture, madame. The victim's body paints a simple picture, more reliable than any witness statement. Consider the impact of the bullet, and note the concomitant lack of blood. A casual homicide. Nothing more. Oh dear, a casual homicide. Pretty sure that we messed with the body as well, didn't we? Don't you find it odd that the thief chose that one particular painting? Maybe? Life is full of odd things, madame. Fingerless gloves, <laughs> white dog poo poo, <laughs> nasal hair. <laughs> I prefer to concern myself with murder. Oh, right, fair enough. What's that? Sabotage? CCTV, George. What do you mean by sabotage? Let's Did find you see out. The alarm was oh, okay. Of course it was. I have interrogated the crime scene, madame. I am fully aware of the disabled security. I prefer biological evidence to the merely circumstantial. Body parts, blood, important things. Don't you think the disabled alarm is highly suspicious, though? The forensic team will be along shortly. Voice your concerns to them. Do not bother me with this circumstantial flip flap. All right, okay, I want to just talk to him. What do you think about the American? Talk to George. About George, yeah. He is deeply suspicious. He always is. <laughs> is that it? He's suspicious. Why don't you check out the security camera footage? Madame, that is not my area of expertise. It is the body which concerns me. But the CCTV footage is evidence. It could help identify the killer. Correction, madame. It is but an indicator. The only true evidence is bodily fluid. Oh, come on. Bodily Unless fluid? Unless you know something I don't, then please leave me be. Do we have to faff around the with bodily fluid? The only evidence Inspector Nave seemed to appreciate involved gore. Okay. So we're gonna... Could you give me a statement, Inspector? Now is not the time, madame. Thanks, Inspector. I'll let you know if I remember anything else. So we need to make this guy gory. If I was going to distract Nave, I needed to unearth new evidence or concoct some. Yes. And the bloodier, the better. The bloodier, the better. Right, what do we have? I mean, nothing. Hmm, what could we use? Anything in the pizza box? Pick it up. Oh yeah, there's some tomato sauce. The tomato sauce had splattered on the floor. What's that? Chewing gum. No way was I going to clean that up with my bare hands. Oh come on, George Wood. <laughs> oh. I spread some of this sauce around with my shoe. Yes. It looked a little bit like a blood stain, but it still wasn't right. Okay. If I was going to distract the cop. I had to get rid of that gun. Pick it up, then. No way was I going to clean that up uh, with my bare okay. hands. I think in Broken Sword 3, George put a half-eaten burger from a bin into his pocket and we never even used it. It was literally... It was a blob of chewing gum, probably carried in on somebody's shoe. Yeah, it was a red herring, but he still did it. Right, okay, can I use my car to, like, scoop it up? I scraped up the chewing yes. gum with my press card, hoping the inspector wouldn't notice. Lovely. Inspector! He's a slow man, isn't he? Yes? Blood! 
definitely Have you seen blood. Have stain on the floor over there? It looks like blood. Indeed. How very curious. I must investigate immediately, before one of these idiots steps in it. Perfect. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe it is time to employ the machine. Okay, Georges. That should distract him for a while. Nice work, Nico. I'll let you know what I find in the office. He remembered the code this time. I was sure the inspector oh, hadn't this. seen me slip away, but I needed to be quick because it wouldn't take him long. Oh no. I've seen a I've seen a screenshot of this. At last, Stobart. Oh no. Sorry, Mr. Rickenbacker. I, I've been busy. Yeah, I damn well hope so. I'm watching the news. Oh, uh, anything interesting? Yeah, someone stole a painting. Oh, really? And it was one you insured. What's going on? Ah, uh, yes. Well, the guy was armed, sir. So? You think I should have thrown myself in front of the thief? Wrestled him to the ground? Got myself shot? Sure would have made me feel better. Anyway, find that painting. Or give me a good reason not to pay out. Please tell me that you have some leads. I'm working on it. Okay. Rickaback, I guess that's my boss. Yeah, like I said before, it's rudely interrupted. I've seen a screenshot of this and it's got loads of um Easter eggs about about previous games, I think. I mean look at this. Paris in the fall, anyone? I am guessing. I mean let me know down in the comments if you spotted anything. That's a hashish pipe from maybe the first game. Uh I don't know, I'm too bit I'm too busy looking at everything. <laughs> That could be from Glastonbury in the third game. I don't know. Let's play the game and then we'll figure it out as we go along. Um, where is the TV? Oh, is that that's it? CCTV. The CCTV system oh, was ancient. No. It took individual shots and recorded them to tape. It looked like I needed to enter a passcode to view the recording. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother attempting that because I don't know it, do I? Hmm. I needed to find a four-digit number. Okay, we can do that. Let's find out. What's that say? Waste bag basket. There's a lot of things to see in here. In the trash can, I found a crumpled letter from Henri's credit card company, demanding immediate payment. It listed extravagant purchases from a variety of ladies' fashion stores. The address indicated that Henri lived in the chic and expensive 16th arrondissement of Paris. I decided to put the letter back. Only his financial problems weren't my business. But now I knew where he lived. Okay, we're going to have to go there at some point, aren't we? It was a hookah pipe. Those things gave me a headache. Let's see what else we can find. A pair of evil eyes stared from a partially covered poster. Eagle eyes? Poster? Let's move out of the way. Oh, oh! <laughs> I mean, yeah. That's the, uh, the second one. Is that the second one? First one? That's the second one, isn't it? Second game. Let's see what else. Oh, pipe. That's the pipe. Can we open this cabinet? No. Guitar. I didn't imagine Henri as a musician. Henri sure liked this clutter. Yes, he did. The frame containing pressed flowers. Henri sure had his quirks. <laughs> this goes really quiet. Henri liked his pressed flowers. Hey, sure, I liked his quirks. <laughs> sorry, sorry if I hurt your eardrums if you're listening on the uh, headphones. It was a pretty flamboyant-looking clock. Okay, I reckon it's something in the desk. Oh, my word, even more stuff. I didn't like the idea of a pocket full of sharp pins. Okay. Folder. There was nothing else in the drawer. The hairy lobsters. The folder looked interesting. This was very definitely <laughs> tampering with evidence. Oh, this is the uh, the system, isn't it? It was a completion of work notice from a company called Vera Security. They weren't the guys we'd recommended. Henri had gone behind our backs to choose a different security outfit. Huh. I'd never heard of Vera Security, but there was an address and phone number on the form. 
Okay, so I'm going to have to call those at some point. Anything else? In the, let's have a look at I the had no again. reason to search the desk again. Oh, okay. Let's have a look at the notice board. Henri's notice board was covered with all kinds of junk. Anything circled on the calendar? The calendar looked like a child's school project. Henri had ringed 27th May and scrawled birthday. Poor guy hadn't quite made it to his big day. 27th of May. If you're on Twitter... Contact me on 27th of the day and say, Happy birthday, Hon Hon Henri. Let's see if anyone does it. I mean, I would have forgotten. Henri had a model of a VW camper van painted in hippie colors. The engine capacity was displayed on the back, 1600 cc. The trinkets, the junk, the instruments. Henri was kind of a hippie at heart. The poster advertised a 1975 Stockholm Music Festival, headlined by a group called... The Hairy Lobsters. Okay. Well, there's a few numbers there to try, isn't there? 1600 thingy there. CC. There's the year there. There's the date of birth as well, 27th of May. Let's continue looking, though. The statue was jaunty. <laughs> jaunty. Up close and personal. I could see that the fig leaf was hinged. Oh, okay. Can we move it? Thankfully, there was no one around to see me do this. Ooh, Very secrets. interesting. Oh, no. Keyhole. I wasn't going to open the safe without the key. Okay. We don't... I was fairly sure that even Henri wouldn't be silly enough to keep it hidden in the office. Okay, it's probably at his house then. Let's leave that. Empty bottles. It looked like Henri had saved the best booze for the back room. The sofa had clearly taken some punishment over the years. There's a lot to see in this room. The street was quiet. The woman in the picture looked vaguely familiar. She does look familiar. Who's that? Hmm. Again, let me know down in the comments. I'm not sure. Is she from the first game? I don't know. Um, we might have looked at everything here. I'm going to try 1975. I don't think it's going to be that. That'll be too easy. Right. Um, 1975. No. Didn't and there I was, so. thinking that Henri might have set such an obvious code. Yeah. No such luck. And when did he say 27th of May? So maybe 27.05. No. Bingo. Oh. I rewound the tape oh, to before it was right. the robbery. <laughs> this was the first interesting frame. It was Henri studying La Maledixio. He couldn't have had any idea what was about to happen. Okay, so what do we have to do here? Previous frame, next frame. Nico and I were taking a look at La Maledixio just before the robbery. Funny, the painting didn't strike me as remarkable at the time. Just odd. Next frame. A good view of La Maledixio. I could kind of see why Father Simeon thought it was evil. There was a certain presence about it. The killer caught in the act. Next frame, yeah. There's nothing really distinctive about him. Okay, so maybe we have to go back. I'm going to click on the next one. The moment it all went horribly wrong. Next one, let's just keep going. The killer making his getaway. Oh, what's that say? We can A see. The logo on the front of his helmet read Waterloo Motors. Yes. That could be useful. Brilliant. The painting was gone. Next frame. There I was, taking a look at the alarm box. Hopefully I didn't look too <laughs> suspicious. I mean, you were prodding around. I hadn't thought about that when I was taking a look at the camera. <laughs> Me. Hmm, not my best angle. The alarm should have sounded when the killer took the painting, but it had been sabotaged. I wondered who could have done that. Maybe Lane, or even Henri himself. Or perhaps even Vera Security, who'd installed the system. 
Yeah, perhaps. That's a good idea, actually. But... That was the last shot. Okay. I've got some leads on the killer's identity. A closer look at the painting might be useful. Okay, so let's go back to the... To a picture where the painting's on the wall. Have a look at it. Whoever was wearing that helmet was going to pay for what he did. Poor Henri. Yeah, poor Henri. Can we have a look at the painting? The image was a little fuzzy, but in the center of the painting was what looked like a snake eating its own tail. Oh, have we come across that before? I thought about what the priest said. There was definitely something unsettling about the picture. Chasing a tail. Why hadn't Henri backed down when the thief pulled the gun? If that was me, I'd have done whatever the guy wanted. Okay, let's go back and see if we can see the... This frame caught the moment the killer took the painting. Let's see if we can see the picture The most here. striking aspect of the painting was a snake eating its own tail. The CCTV had caught the killer in the act of lifting La Maledic Seal from the wall. He knew exactly which painting to take. Anything else? Let's go, I'm going to go back a little bit further. Can we see the The most picture? striking... No, it's just going to say the same, isn't it? Let's have a look at Nico. It seemed that whenever Nico stepped back into my life, so did trouble. It's all Nico's fault. There I was, looking at the exhibition. That shot must have been before anyone else arrived at the gallery. Was Henri studying that picture, or did he look worried? Yeah. There was definitely more to this robbery than I first thought. Okay, let's see if there's anything before that. That was the okay, earliest that's it. shot with anything interesting on it. Are we done then? I think we might be done. Oh. Oh no. Monsieur, sir, you have snuck in here, and now you are tampering with my evidence. Wasn't me. Uh, truth, lies. I mean, are we going to play it straight, or are we going to be... No, we're going to lie. I'm just looking for the name of the caterer that she's was to die for. Ah, to die for? Uh, to kill for. I put it to you, monsieur. Monsieur... Stobart. George Stobart. I put it to you that you came here in search of cheese and <laughs> killed the owner in a fromage-induced frenzy. Well, no. I'm from Paris Mutual. We insured the exhibition. Oh, uh, really? Yes, really. Mm. Time will tell, monsieur. Truth will out, inspector. Who dares wins, monsieur Stobart? <laughs> he who laughs last laughs loudest, inspector Nave. The guy was seriously nuts. May I remind you, monsieur, that a serious crime has been committed. I am going to have to ask you to return to the gallery. Of course. But I do need to ask you a few questions. D'accord. But remember, anything you say can be used against you, Monsieur Stobart. Okay, I'll bear that in mind. Okay, let's ask about the security system. Do you know anything about a company called Vera Security? No, I have never heard of them. Now, I must get on with my investigation. Hmm, nail clippers... I don't really want to ask about that. It's very likely that the security camera holds a clue to the killer's identity. Monsieur, I am a professional, and you are an amateur. So, leave the investigating to me, huh, pal? Monsieur, you are American, no? Yeah, California born and bred. Of course. I think perhaps you are wanting to be like that Starsky and Butch, monsieur. No? Rolling around on top of fast cars with beautiful ladies, firing your gun. Interesting idea, Inspector, but not really my style. Indeed. Well, let me tell you something, Monsieur. You are my prime suspect. You may go now, but I will need to speak with you again. Okay, let's go. Can we leave this place, finally? I had some valuable leads. But before following up on them, I had important business to attend to. What's he got to do now? Hey, Nico. You want to grab a quick cup of coffee? All right, okay. Sure.
I am pleased to announce that I have finished my preliminary investigation. This is now an official crime scene, and you must all go. I shall be questioning all of you again in the coming days. Nobody is to leave the country, particularly you, Monsieur Stobart. Monsieur Lane will stay behind to help secure the premises. Mo? Yes, Inspector. Let them out. Right away, sir. Okay, finally, we're out. Oh, that's Two nice. Two coffees, please. Should we ask for a latte? Nice work in there, Nico. Whatever you did, it worked. I just made a tiny distraction, and Nave bought it. I think Nave would buy anything if it had blood on it. You know, this whole setup, the theft, the murder, it just doesn't make sense. What do you mean? Okay, what are we going to talk about? Waterloo Motors. That the was CCTV helmet, wasn't it? picked up an image of the thief. His helmet had the words Waterloo Motors written across it. Interesting. I think I got a couple of good shots of him too, but I need to take a better look at them at home. Great. Let me know what you find. Do you think we have to go back to Nico's apartment? I have to go back there. That's classic. Classic Nico apartment in the first one. Like I said, I think it was an inside job. Go on. Elaborate. Someone disabled the alarm, but on just one painting. Let me guess. La Maledictio. Bingo. Exactly. And I aim to find out who did it. Well, the priest thinks La Maledictio is evil. Charles, sure, she's just crazy. Yeah, you're probably right. But there's something strange going on. I found the address of the security company Henri employed. It was not the one that I recommended. Good luck with your investigations. Well, I guess I should go. This story won't write itself. And Georges? Yeah? It's good to see you again. Great to see you too, Nico. Oh. I watched her walk away. The sound of traffic, the sun shining, a crime to solve, and Nico back in my life. Oh, map. Good old map. Right, I think we're going to leave it there, guys. Where should we go? Henri's apartment or Vera Security? Hmm, let me know down in the comments where you'd go. I think I'm probably leaning towards, well, I don't know. Not actually sure. Uh, right, really enjoyed today. It's finally moving along. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please leave that like. And until next time, have a wonderful morning or afternoon or evening, whatever it is you're doing right now. Take care.